Hi, I'm Frederick Morgeson, founder and editor of the Annual Review of Organizational Psychology and Organizational Behavior. I'm very pleased today to be with Terry Mitchell from the University of Washington. Terry is a legend in the field of management and organizational behavior and has been at the University of Washington since he got his degree in 1969 from the University of Illinois. Terry has made many, many contributions to the field uh, in terms of research on leadership, attribution theory, and turnover, among many others. And he has written an article for the Annual Review uh, on his perspective of his career and the field as a whole. And so I'm very pleased today to be with Terry and to be able to talk to him about some of his research and some of his perspectives on the career. What got you interested in the field of management? Well, you know, I look back on my childhood and uh, my father uh, was all but degree from the University of Michigan in psychology. Mm. And then he had his career in public service in Washington. But he would come home in the evenings and we would sit around the dinner table and he usually had two questions for my brother and myself. And one question was, was there an event or anything happened significant today at school? And the second question was usually, well, well what'd you think about that? You know, why did that happen? Why did that person do mm. what they did? And those sort of themes about thinking about events and thinking about sort of attributional analysis, well, why people do what they do, stayed with me a long time. And when I did my undergraduate degree at Duke, one of my teachers was uh, Charles Spielberger. He was a clinical psychologist. And I took his class, and he was excellent, but I decided I didn't want to be a clinician. Um, and I don't make an attribution directly to Spielberger, but it, it, it was that class that, that changed my mind. And then I took a class from Ned Jones, E.E. E. Jones. And turns out um, he, he was very famous. And I really didn't know that as an undergraduate. But he was doing work at the time on reactance theory. And I was on, in one of his studies. And I thought, wow, this is kind of interesting to do this study. Reactance theory was all about you changing your preference function after you make a decision. That things that you didn't choose become more attractive. And then he did work on attribution theory. He did work on ingratiation. Uh, and, and those were topics that eventually uh, I got interested in, in later in my career.